Donald Trump may have found the heads I win. Tails you lose legal challenge. Although the former president's appeal ends against a limited speech ban imposed in his case to overturn the federal election, he can expect some benefit. If Trump wins, or if three judges hearing case on Monday narrow terms of restriction, Trump could gain new ground to attack special counsel Jack Smith's lawsuit against him. If Trump loses, as it seems likely based on the course of the hearing, he will create a new talking point for his narrative that he is being persecuted to ruin his 2024 campaign. A ruling Trump's favor on the gag order, which has been temporarily frozen during an appeal hearing, would pale in comparison to his four criminal cases and his current civil case New York. But Matter Monday's hearing provided a preview of extreme institutional stress, political tensions and serious constitutional questions ahead next year. As latest president presumptive GOP nominee fights for his freedom in multiple courtrooms to win. Back White House. It is difficult to understand how legal system has escaped the fate of other accountability. Institutions whose was tarnished after they tried to contain or expose former president's unique rule violations. How does the gag suit reflect Trump's intense challenge to accountability? The challenge gag order is intertwined with complex debates about scope of First Amendment and extent which courts have right regulate its scope protect their officers, their trials, and ministration of justice. The takeaway from Monday's arguments was that the three justices, all appointed by Democrats, appeared likely to largely restore the limited speech ban imposed on Trump by Judge Tanya Chutkin. The restrictions prevented Trump from attacking court staff, prosecutors or potential witnesses verbally or on social media, but that didn't stop him from making statements about Judge Justice Department, case more generally, or his potential foe in general election, President Joe Biden. Trump's legal team argued that any restrictions on his comments constituted an unconstitutional attack on his rights to free political expression. But justices must decide to what extent those rights can be restricted for a defendant who, in this case, allegedly tried to obstruct the 2020 election. Trump has pleaded not guilty and maintained he has done nothing wrong in any of the cases against him. The situation is further complicated by the fact that, for example, Trump's rebuke of Smith as crazy was more serious than whining about his treatment. This fits into a long-term effort to delegitimize the justice system itself. Circuit Judge Patricia Millett told Trump attorney D. John Sauer that labeling all of Trump's remarks as basic speech begs the question of whether it is truly political speech or speech. He aims to derail or disrupt the criminal justice process. Trump's legal arguments also appear to touch on another vital question does his status as a